Hi everyone, I'm Hannah, um, calling you from New York. So uh, I did my project on generating emotional landscapes and um, the background on this is that I've been pretty interested in just emotional data sets for most of the past year. Um, and earlier in the year I had created a, um, a emotion tagged landscape data set um, where basically I took seven different classes of landscapes and um, used Crowdflower to have people tag them with eight different emotions. And so some of the results I got from this um, included, like, these are some emotion tagged fields. So you can see that there's a pretty clear distinction between emotions here. Um, some disgust images, mostly browns and greens, a lot of water, swampy lake kind of things. Um, Fear was like um, both obvious forest kind of dark, gloomy, scary type things, but also like conceptual fear of the open ocean. And um, surprise had a lot of like bright colors and things like that. So I wanted to take this data set and see if I could actually generate um, emotional landscapes from it. So first I tried again, but that was very quickly unstable, as you can see here. And so I ended up um, trying a multi-scale conditional BAE, which is based on Emily Denton's 2015 paper. And so I'll show you some of these outputs. These are 64 by 64 um, pixel generations. So each emotion row has the same Z vector as the input. Um, so here's one set, and I'll just go through them. Um, so here's anger, anticipation, disgust, uh, which you can see has a lot of browns and greens. Fear is pretty dark and gloomy. Joy is a little brighter. Sadness is pretty muted. Um, surprise has some surprising colors, I guess. Uh, trust is very bright and calm. Here's another set. And then I also tried doing um, landscape specific generations. So here are 32 by 32 generated mountains, um, slightly blurrier, but I think the emotions still hold. And then forests. And that's my project. Great. Does anyone have any questions um, to Director Sam? Uh, do people agree with the emotions of the generated samples? Do you trust that? So the question was um, if people agree to the um, emotions of the generated samples. Sorry, do people agree on the generated samples? If you show them a generated sample, do they say disgust or fear? According to what it should I think be. definitely if I show them like 10 in a row or like 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 these kind of things where there's a sample of 10 um, then they do there are some individual ones that don't totally feel right but as a whole they do I think like fear versus joy that looks pretty right to me cool. any other questions I'm just going to bring them up to you since. Hi. Um, so, other than color, colors, were there other uh, aspects of uh, pictures that would correlate with emotions, like symmetry of the image or certain shapes mm -hmm. that appear in the image? I actually noticed that. Um, Anticipation had a lot of contrast, more than, I think, more than most of the other ones. Um, someone said that maybe that was like a lens flare effect or something. Um, 
So definitely like shadows and, and contrast between lighter and darker areas was another thing I had noticed. Um, but for the most part, it did seem to be uh, colors. Although with, with the mountains also, the skyline seemed different. Um, so like fear, the, the mountains all seemed to be slightly higher than some of the other emotions, um, which maybe makes sense if you're like looking up at a mountain versus like looking down from a mountain or something like that. Great, uh, we've got another question. When you were building the data set with Crowdflower, did you only select for English speakers or did you translate those 10 um, emotions to different languages? No, I only, I only selected for English speakers. Um, it's actually part of a bigger project I want to do, which is like um, seeing if like people in different areas tag things differently, like if people who live near mountains tag mountains differently and things like that. Um, so I had started in the U.S. and like in, U in um, people who had put in their U.S. cities so I could like start investigating that 